had Walmart learned something from Katrina? For Japan, actually, Chile was the most relevant to us. So um, our, our, our colleagues in the uh, Disaster Relief Center in our home office in Bentonville, Arkansas, um, runs 24-7, incredibly helpful because they had a long list of these are the things you're going to have to deal with quickly and this is what we learned in Chile. And that was already sort of activated Absolutely. when you got off the plane. When I got off the plane that had already happened. They were already uh, doing kind of hourly calls. The next day we started a twice daily because the country president had actually been on a plane as well. He was diverted to Sapporo and it was I think 12 hours by road and train for him to get back to Tokyo. So the next day is when we started our twice daily normal pace uh, into the categories of first, you know, associate safety, what's happening, the second is what's happening on relief, and then the third is first operational assessment. It was about seven days later we could move from assessment into more operational recovery and supply chain integrity, et cetera. Um, but um, it, it, as I got off the plane, yeah, absolutely, that was already moving forward, and we had already been getting documents saying, this is what we learned in Chile, here's the standard approach. So. You know, we did learn a lot because Chile was an earthquake. There was no tsunami. There was no nuclear disaster. Uh, w w I don't think the world has dealt with something um, as significant as this triple threat. So we're documenting it, hopefully never having to use it. It's a bit like an insurance policy.